And welcome back to Just Wing It. Hey viewers, subscribers, Stoll fans, Bush Pilot fans, Horizon Hobby fans, E-Flight fans, look what we have today. All right, we have a very special plane to unbox. We have one of my all-time top 10 planes, the de Havilland Canada DHC-6 Twin Otter. I honestly cannot believe that, that uh, Horizon Hobby and E-Flight have released this model in EPO electric format. Sim simply unbelievable. I really, this is one of my all-time favorite airplanes. Uh, and it all stems from a childhood growing up uh, in San Diego and watching de Havilland Twin Otters flying in the late 70s out of a place called Montgomery Field. Some of you may be familiar with that since in San Diego. In any event, uh, I grew up watching these things flying, and I'll tell you what, I just, just fell in love with the type of plane, really. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about uh, the chance that they took. So I, I believe, and I have not been in conversation with uh, folks at Horizon Hobby E-Flight, I believe they kind of took a chance on this. Uh, that's just my, my gut hunch. And I'm happy to see that all the pre-orders sold out. So I'm happy to see that, that Horizon Hobby is being rewarded by taking a chance on a very unique ship, the Twin Otter, and the, all the pre-orders sold out, and you may say, well, how did I get this one? Did I pre-order it? Well, I, I uh, actually got this from uh, my friends up at Friendly Hobbies in Las Vegas, and uh, they, they actually had this, so I snatched it up from them, and uh, yeah, so Friendly Hobbies in Las Vegas, if you happen to be in the Vegas area, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with them, if, if not... Um, you can check them out on, on the internet, but in any event, so that's where I was able to get this, this uh, model, was from uh, Friendly Hobbies. I did not pre-order it. Uh, my friends at Friendly Hobbies provided me with, with this plane. I, well, when I say that, I bought it. They didn't just give it to me. So, in any event, but they, uh, it, they had pre-ordered it. But let's talk a bit about this plane here real quick. So, uh, here we go. There's a picture of her. Uh, on her on her on her wheels really nice rake I mean that thing looks really nice in scale they did a good job on it they got the proportions just right by that I mean uh, the nose of the airplane sits you know it, it sits a little high if you will um, but yeah then she got a good look on the floats so there you go okay so uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these specs before we start to dig into the uh, to the box. But again, it's a it's a uh, about a 48 inch, 1.2 meter wingspan, and what are we looking at there for weight? All up weight about 37 to 39 ounces. Okay, um, really. So it's a twin, and it's fly. This thing flies on a 3S 2200. So we're going to find out how she flies here soon enough. But in any event, hey, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get the plane out here on the uh, the zebra stripes. <laughs> I've got my trusty little uh, husky uh, uh, box opener there. We're gonna go ahead and get the tape cut out, and in typical just wing it fashion, because I am uh, a one person show. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and and open up the box, show you what you're looking at first. And then get the pieces out, cover the pieces one at a time. So we're going to do this in steps. We'll do it off camera. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and show you what she looks like when you open up the box. Be right back. And we are back. Hey, we're back at Just Wing It. And we have the brand new, and I mean brand new, Horizon Hobbies and E-Flight de Havilland DHC-6 Twin Otter. So... This is what you're going to be presented with when you open up the box. So it's a one-piece wing, 1.2 meter wing. So what's that, like 48, 49 inches? See the owner's manual tucked inside there? Uh, nice. I see that the, the nose of the aircraft is under there. Looks like we have an EC-3. As, uh, as my buddy uh, Rampage and RC Groups has already indicated, Notice that the the uh, motors are color coded. Look at that. So red for the left or port, 
and green for the right or starboard. And by the way, that lines up with the aircraft's uh, navigational lights, and even boating has the same system of navigational lights, where red is indicative of the port side and green is indicative of the starboard side. But it's really neat how it's metal, and they're really they're color coded. So we're going to get into that more when we open up the box. But uh, uh, looks like I have the uh, the horizontal stab. It's right here. So the horizontal stab is tucked in here in the, there's a side pocket where the horizontal stab goes. Uh, looks like your accessory pack. Well, that's actually the, the, the vertical and rudder of the aircraft. Um, so yeah. So we'll find the accessory pack. I think it's somewhere in here. Anyway, we're going to get it all out of the box. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like when, once you open the box and how neatly it's packed. And I'm going to go ahead and, and get my uh, box cutter going. We're going to get all these, these pieces freed up and uh, we're going to get them laid out here uh, and we'll examine them one at a time. So that said, go ahead and uh, uh, please uh, stand by. <laughs> okay, Stay tuned while I go ahead and get this box open and get these parts uh, out and laid out so that we can inspect them one at a time. Be right back. And we're back at Just Wing It with the unboxing of the brand new Horizon Hobbies and E-Flight de Havilland of Canada DHC6 Twin Otter. Okay, we got everything uh, out of the foam, which is right, chong. Um, and uh, what you're presented with is a lot of very nice looking components and sub assemblies. So, uh, like again, we've already uh, given a slight tease, if you will, to the uh, horizontal. The float set is color matched, um, and they're very, very nice. There's plastic reinforcements uh, where I guess the mounts would go. Um, not being a big float plane kind of guy, I'm probably not going to be flying mine on floats. Well, I say probably. Let's just cut to the chase. I, I, I don't think I will. I, I don't want to rule it out, but eh, probably not. In any event, uh, there is one water rudder on the float set. So uh, as you can see right here, and again, they are color matched, and they're very nice. Um, they're all foam, however. So uh, I know some of you who do a lot of float flying may... Uh, balk at that and that's understandable they're not lined uh, with plastic at all they're, they're just simply all foam construction but hey they ought to float pretty good <laughs> here's your here's your bag uh, of hardware that I suspect is going to be for the float system um, and what we're going to do is uh, once I get to getting everything out of the actual plastic then uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the floats back into the foam container because I'm not really going to be covering them that much in this video. Um, we have all the accessory bags we brought out and I'll tell you this thing has a lot of accessory bags. It really does. I, I suspect uh, those are the wing struts right here and other screws. Um, here's all the errata and there's a lot of plastic parts. Oh, there's a lot of plastic parts. This is your bind plug. Uh, of course, we have a, a manual. Horizon's very good. At, they always include the manual. And here's the landing gear. It's a very nice landing gear. Um, but there you go. It has all the, uh, the little attachment point, plastic covers, etc., etc. Okay? So, uh, what we're going to do now, and I'll tell you, um, without even looking... Uh, without having to pull it out of the package. That that fuselage looks great. I mean, I, again, I'm not a fan of the later series, you know, two, you know, 300, 400 Twin Otters. Uh, I believe this one's patterned or modeled after a 400 series. A little bit longer nose. But uh, the older, again, the older uh, series 100 Twin Otters had a much shorter nose. But in any event, hey, this is a beautiful looking plane. And they got the, they captured the essence of the Twin Otter. They captured the lines. She looks good when she's standing on her feet. So, yeah, very impressive model. So, let me get everything out of the plastic wrappers. And we're going to go ahead and cover the, uh, the pieces and components one at a time. Be right back. And we're back at Just Wing It. 
Hey, welcome back. We got all the parts of the new Horizon Hobby and E Flight de Havilland of Canada DHC6 Twin Otter. Uh, we got the parts out of the of the wrapping that uh, we're going to go ahead and show you. Um, I'm going to leave these in here for right now. These are all the little ancillary plastic parts. Here's your here's your official bag of screws. Um, those are the wing struts, right, right there. Those blue, long blue things are wing struts, and they they actually just snap. See those snaps? They'll just snap into the wing. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, huh, I wonder what that is. Oh, anyways, interesting. Oh, some bags are interesting parts. Oh yeah, there's the uh, stabilizers that go on the horizontal stabilizer if you're flying the model on on floats but uh, similar to this right here right but um, since there's holes in the stabilizer the horizontal stab to begin with um, it's look it looks like if you leave those those uh, those side force stabilizers uh, off you're gonna have those holes so I'm just gonna put mine on yeah it's a minor it's a minor thing so uh, in any event uh, let's get to it okay the landing gear the landing gear is very very nice um, has a nice plastic molded uh, fairing over it um, I'll tell you what uh, it's really really thick this, this metal that uh, is holding the uh, the serves as the main strut, if you will, of the landing gear and does the attachment parts and all that. Um, it's very thick and stout. I think I'm going to have to land, I'm going to have to uh, land pretty hard or bungle a landing in order to bend it. I don't know. We'll I guess we'll find out on the maiden, right? Uh, in any event, I don't think that's going to happen. No, but that's a very, that's a very nice landing gear. Um, and the wheels are held on by screw. They have these little nuts on the end there. Uh, yeah, so here's your nose, here's your nose wheel, and that's just going to screw into the front. Uh, we'll show you that on the actual fuse of the of the of the aircraft. Okay, so hey, here's your tricycle landing gear. Nice. Okay, these props, these props are really cool. By the way, they are counter rotating, so they uh, are counter rotating propellers, and they can give you that little uh, a little uh, a little vertigo. Huh? Look at those stripes, huh? Put you into a spell, anyways. These are really neat props. They almost seem like they're like a UAV type prop or something. But anyways, there you go. You got two props. You got your two spinners. They're plastic. Uh, they're molded plastic. Um, and uh, looks like you got your two screws. Those came in one part. I'm starting to get the idea that this model was probably made by a different. Uh, I don't want to say supplier, but it, it seems to be of a, a bit different manufacturer than your standard, average, everyday Horizon Hobby E-Flat product. Not saying it's a bad thing, it just seems different. Okay, so here is your horizontal stab. Uh, it already has the uh, the fittings as far as for the uh, push rods, okay, for the push rods to mount to. Uh, really nice, you can see that the black really nice uh, carbon spar in there okay um, and of course this this right here that opening is for the uh, is for the uh, side gen or the side stabilizers on the on the horizontal uh, they have a nice plastic reinforcement here l shape to uh, to give that some uh, stability has the uh, has the uh, the molded uh, simulated metal as you can see so very nice very very nice okay um, I like the way that that plastic reinforces the uh, elevators and that's the joiner as well and I like the way they have the plastic right there to uh, to give it some strength as well because that's a doubler so that's your plastic doubler so when you when you attach this um, which apparently those screws are going to go in from the bottom. That's right, because there's your control horn. So, yeah. So very nice. It has a nice sheen to it. Um, the de-icing boot looks very nice. 
Okay? So very cool. Very cool. All right. On to the next, and probably the most uh, interesting component is the wing. So as already stated, the wing, the motors are color coded. So the red and green. So red for the port and green for the starboard. Nice light. I'm digging that. Um, and it looks like we have the wire. Okay, that's the wire for the wingtip light. Okay. And, it, and this is a cover. So this is an, a plastic cover. Interesting. And all the control horns are, are attached already. The control horns are attached. You have the control horns for the flaps. Right here, control horns for the flaps. Control horns for the ailerons. Uh, here's your snap for your wing strut. Just literally, just, just pop, snaps right in there. Now, I do want to say one thing that I'm a bit... Um, uh, it's minor, okay, a bit put off by, but that's alright. So make sure, notice, these do not have the fuel tubing keepers on these. So I'm debating, I think I might put some fuel tube uh, keepers on before I fly this thing. Maybe there's some in the bags, I don't know. But we'll find out, and we'll make sure that we have a good positive connection. I don't, I'd hate to lose the model on a maiden flight because of control unsnap. That just wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be sat, wouldn't be satisfactory. So here you have your 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 steady uh, beacon, and then you have your your uh, flashing anti-collision light. So very nice, very very nice. Um, the the inlet for the engine, the turbine engine, is plastic. Look at that, that's plastic. So the cowl, in fact, that's all plastic right there. That's plastic right back to there. So very interesting. Um, and you have the motors back there behind the color code. It's very nice. It really is. So, uh, this is, is a plastic, reinforced plastic doubler. You have plastic right here where these will go in into the fuse, into the front of the fuse. And then you attach it. It looks like it attaches with one single screw. Interesting. Okay. Um, again, as stated earlier, it's an EC3 connector. I fly XT60s, but I have about a bajillion uh, EC3 to XT60, um, you know, uh, adapters. So I'm going to use an adapter and fly my XT60 batteries on this model. Um, looks like we have a lot going on up here. It's covered with a little bit of a, a paper cover to keep it all nice and neat and tidy. Well, I like it. I like it. Um, and everything's uh, rubber banded together. Everything's rubber banded together. We have aileron. Looks like we have aileron. We have ESCs. So I'm sure that uh, the flaps, right? So we have flap. There we go. Okay. So it looks like everything is already uh, wide up. And uh, yeah, we'll cover that when we do the assembly video. Looks like everything's already wide up. And all you have to do is plug those, those basic plugs into the fuse, which is right here. So, here we have, uh, let me turn this thing around. Okay, it's a little awkward. Um, here we have our, our AS3X. This is an AR636. Uh, and this is a B model, interestingly enough. So, they've got the AR636As, and now they have Bs. So, uh, looks like... Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so all the Ys, apparently, let me see, find this out for sure. Okay, so LED, so yeah, so all you're going to do is, uh, it has all the connectors for the LEDs, which is the light package, um, flaps, etc., etc. So that's all in here. They're already plugged in, so all you're going to do is basically you're going to pull out what you have to and uh, plug it in so okay I hope that that's clear as mud <laughs> anyways uh, that's not very graceful but I'll, I'll explain much much more when when we do the actual assembly video okay so in any event hey looking at the fuse and I'm really really digging this I'm really digging this we have a nice wooden 
Uh, very thick ply. Look at that. Gee, Wilkers. Very nice thick ply uh, mount for where the screw goes from the wing into here. So yeah, very very nice. And there's a there is a I don't know if you can see that. We'll get it over here in the light. But there is a a plastic a plastic uh, female end, and then the male end will screw through through the uh, through the wing into the female end. Okay, so there you go. Um, yep, and the uh, the rudder and elevator servos are mounted in plywood as well. And I like the way they've actually labeled them. That's kind of cool. That's burnished into the wood. Wow, that's really cool. So yeah, that's actually burnished into the wood there. So you can see this is rudder elevator. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and you have some some very minor adjustment type. You know, some very uh, basic adjustment type right there for the wheel and for the rudder. Right. So that screw is how you can adjust. You'll loosen that screw and you'll adjust your wheel. And make sure the airplane's tracking straight uh, down the runway. Okay, when you utilize your rudder. Okay, so any event. All right, beautiful, nice, uh, nice uh, light on the on the on the tip of the uh, of the vertical stab. The paint on this thing is just superb. It really, really is. Um, so the paint, the blue is paint. Looks like the uh, the light blue, yellow, and silver. Our decals, decals, as our British friends call it. <laughs> um, these are definitely decals because I can feel the relief. I can feel the texture. So yeah. So so in any event, the blue they did a really nice job on this blue. Um, and there, as you can see, is, is the uh, the mount for the the nose wheel. The nose wheel will go right in there. That. Uh, servo connector or that arm if you will that is for the water rudder okay there's a there, there's a push rod that comes with the model and it goes from here to the water rudder which I don't have mounted and I'm not going to the nose wheel right chill the nose wheel is simply going to go ahead and slide in here Let's see if I can do that on camera it's, it's a lot harder than it looks trust me okay there you go you're just going to just gonna slide it in, and you tighten that grub screw, and you're good to go. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, I like it. Uh, I'm digging it. So, um, what else? What else? Oh, cargo doors. It has the cargo doors. Has the, uh, the the front doors on both sides for the uh, for the crew. And uh, yeah, they, they have a lot of detail molded into this thing. They really do. So again, the blue is all going to be paint, the silver, and the light blue. Um, and of course, Old Glory there, the American flag. <laughs> That's all going to be uh, decals. So in any event, yeah, very nice looking plane. Very nice. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to come on over here and we're going to look at the... Uh, we're going to look at the battery compartment. Okay, so the battery compartment is held in by one magnet. One magnet up front. Tongue and groove. You can see where it grooves. You can see where it grooves into. There's the tongue. There's your magnet. Okay, it comes right off. As you can see, it comes off. Oh, there's a guide. I like this little guide right here. And that guide has a recess. So it's very positive and it won't slide around. So once this goes in, I mean, it's it, it, it cannot go laterally side to side. Okay? And really, to get it off even one-handed, I'm simply applying just a little force there. And I'm rocking it forward and it comes right off. Okay, so we have a nice battery tray up front. We have a nice strap. Too bad it doesn't say E-Flight. 
Um, but apparently, that's that's as far. That's it. So about an inch. Let's get a better shot at this here for you. Yeah, it doesn't go. The battery compartment doesn't go very far forward. As you can see, that's it. And uh, yeah, but it does go quite a quite a ways back. Look at that. I wonder what that's about. Huh. Interesting. I'm trying to get the light. But anyways, it goes pretty far back. Um, and again, it looks like it's perfectly shaped for a 3S 2200. So we're going to see if this thing can hit CG. Um, I mean, I'm curious if it can hit CG with a single 3S 2200 instead of, you know, maybe a, a, a 3S 2700. I, I don't know. I, I suspect it will because one thing I know about Horizon is that those, those uh, folks at Horizon test fly these things like you wouldn't believe. I mean it. They, they get their sample models or test models and they fly the wings off of these things. I read uh, in RC groups they actually flew this model on a single engine to see if it could do it and it did it. Now granted it wasn't the most optimal thing to do and I'm not saying I recommend that you do that right? But they did it as a test to see if the model happened to lose one of the electric motors in flight. Can the thing still fly and land? And it did. It's like, wow. So anyways, that just shows you the kind of testing they put these things through. So, hey, last part, we're going to go ahead and put this thing together. We're not going to screw it together. We're just going to mock it up so you can see what she looks like mocked up. And uh, we'll go ahead and finish this video off. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Just Wing It and our unboxing video of the new uh, Horizon Hobby Z Flight de Havilland DHC6 Twin Otter. And here you go. Got it mocked up for you. Uh, nothing's bolted in place or anything like that. Uh, but I did put it together. I want to cover a couple of things real quick. So there's this big black bolt nut screw thing whatever it's in the bag it was like i was looking at that what is this thing well that's the wing bolt so the wing is held in by one pretty uber big bolt okay so one bolt takes care of the whole job the whole kit, kit and caboodle the whole shebang and then there's this two plastic prongs that come out and go into the front part of the wing there okay uh, as discussed earlier uh very very nice this is all plastic cal um, and then, of course, plastic exhaust from the from the simulated Pratt and Whitney PT6 turbo props, which is what powered this thing, and ultimately went all the way up to what about 530 shaft horsepower, I think, maybe even better than that, probably. So, uh, and one thing too, I want to want to point out is that the, this propeller spin, they spin in in inboard, okay, they spin inboard, all right. So that, that's how they'll spin. So that said, um, this screw will do lefty tight. You turn left to tighten it. So be very careful. Now it's exact opposite of what most folks are used to. You, you learn that in school, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. No. Now this one's going to be turned to the right clockwise to tighten, fasten. This one is counterclockwise or towards the left if you will to fasten so just so you know that so you know these propellers spin inboard which uh, gives it some very mild handling characteristics okay I got her on her feet and I'll tell you again she has a, a good twin otter look on her feet um, I put a in order to get her to sit right because if you just set her on her landing gear um, it doesn't want to it doesn't want to um, sit properly. So I put my China Hobby Lines, it's a 55C 3S 2200 pack, all the way to the front, as far front as I can get it, basically, um, and still have the usage of the, uh, the strap. So, and she's sitting pretty good that way. Now, I haven't checked the center of gravity yet. This is strictly for demonstration purposes. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll check the center of gravity and we'll see where we have to have that battery. So in any event, hey, uh, 
wow, I cannot wait to get this thing put together. Uh, and we're going to do that, as a matter of fact. And I'm going to shoot a uh, a uh, assembly video. It's not a build video because you're not really building anything. You're simply assembling subcomponents. We're going to assemble this on camera, or at least step by step. I'm going to show you step by step. Uh, talk to you about the things I encounter as I go along the way. And then we'll try and get her in the air sometime in the next few days, weather permitting. So, that said, thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Blue skies, fair winds, and happy landings from the Just Wing It channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video of the, again, the new, I've said it multiple times, but it really is. It's groundbreaking. The new Horizon Hobbies and E-Flight de Havilland. DHC6 Twin Otter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.